everyone I'm so excited to show you a tutorial on this look that I have on I think I saw this on Ariana Grande and I really wanted to recreate it and I went ahead and practiced the look on this side so that I can show you how I did it this is the pack vibe eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take the shade right here onto a small brush and apply it all over my crease um, this brush is from an eyeshadow palette from Rimmel and I really like the shade and we're just going to blend the shade out I'm applying it just on top of my crease and we're going to use the shade as a transition color and then I'm taking a MAC 217 to blend it I'm filming on natural light and the light is fluctuating so much it's a very cloudy day today so please pardon me if it gets too bright all of a sudden okay so that is blended i really like this eyeshadow palette it blends so well the colors are very buttery so i'm going to take this dark brown right here and now i'm going to concentrate this dark brown right here on the crease i love uh, this small brush it's fluffy and dense but very small so it's really nice to use a brush like this on the crease so the product just applies exactly where I want it to be. I'm also applying it right here on the outer corner. Applying it as a V. We'll blend that later. Right now I'm only focusing on the outside. We'll blend the inside also in some time. Taking uh, the blending brush once again blending that way I love the MAC 217 it's one of my favorite blending brush I think the pack 142 is very similar now you can go ahead and take any white concealer use that to cut your crease and before the concealer dries I'm actually going to just apply a little bit of that transition shade and blend it it's easier to blend it when it's slightly wet rather than trying to blend it when it dries because then it's going to leave like harsh lines and we're going to take this silver from the huda beauty smoky obsession palette and i am just pressing it on wherever we applied that um white concealer and whenever you're applying glitter, just make sure you're always pressing. And then I'm just dragging a little bit at the end to blend it. I'm using the same brush, a brush that came with that Rimmel palette. I'm taking this darker brown shade and using that to draw a eyeliner very, very close to the lash line. This is a Morphe M250 brush. I'm also taking that darker brown on my lower lash line just a little bit not too much you can get these bindis anywhere so I'm going to use this on my crease I'm going to use a tweezer to help me apply these bindis I'm going to apply the first one right here open your eyes so that you know exactly where it'll appear when you open your eyes so I'm going to place the next one somewhere around here here. I think the bindis just changed the look. So I've applied five bindis on each side. I do have individual false lashes. One of them is sticking out. I will try to curl all of them together like so, so that the eyes really open up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. And I'm using that to 
merge both the false and my real lashes and also using it on my lower lash line on my lips i'm going to use this color from sugar it's called better call salmon and then i'm going to top it up with a little gloss this is the lip strobe from earth rhythm so that's it for today's tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this i would love for you guys to recreate it if you do then please tag me on instagram and put up a picture and that's it thank you so much for watching please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any videos and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye